So I like salmon. Salmon, one of the healthiest fishes you can eat. Fishes? Fish? It's got all the good stuff, and it's got not very little of the bad stuff. No mercury, right? Because all the fish are polluted with mercury now, so you got to be careful. Tuna. You can only have tuna like once a week because it's got so much mercury in it. And so, but salmon's safe to eat, in, you know, in relative. So I eat a lot of it when I used to, when before the COVID, I used to go to have sushi once a week and I would eat salmon, mostly just salmon. Um, well, guess what? I have some bad news, but let's raise everybody's consciousness about this. Salmon are the biological foundation of river ecosystems. This Alaska mine could generate one billion a year. Is it worth the risk to salmon? I guess the question is, should we destroy our ecosystem? <laughs> uh, probably not. But there's money involved. <laughs> Come on. That, so there's an Alaska mine that's going to generate a billion dollars a year, and it's going to wreck the salmon run. But not just any salmon run. This mine threatens America's largest wild salmon run. Boy, I wonder what Scott Pruitt's going to do. He'll probably lock himself in his padded private room, then do something really shitty. That's my guess. <laughs> EPA Administrator Scott Pruitt has been stewarding the Pebble Mine Project, which focuses on a deposit containing billions of tons of copper and gold in the very same headwaters where the salmon spawn. Located in a seismically active region high in sulfur, the proposed mine and associated infrastructure would dangerously contaminate the river systems. Unlike humans... They can't offer the salmon an insulting low amount of money to relocate. <laughs> Republican Alaska Senate Majority Leader Rick Halford said, you couldn't pick a better place to ruin both rivers. Ha, contaminating water, usually not a good idea. We kind of need that stuff, kind of. He's a Republican. The Senate Majority Leader, Republican, is warning that you're going to ruin both rivers. He's a Republican. So it's not clear whether he means that's a good thing or a bad thing. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we can ruin both rivers. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> Here we go. Here's a, from, here's, here you go. Here's a trailer from the movie about it. How they can be hatched in these river systems... Find your way out to sea, spend two or three years in the ocean, and come back to the exact same place that they were born. It's absolutely amazing to me how they can do that. You can't not think about them somewhat mythically. I think it's valuable to protect all of our wild places. We're running out of them. If you want to see magic, come to Bristol Bay, Alaska, and you'll see magic. Do we love salmon? I don't even know if love's a strong enough word. It is who we are. It is who our people have been and who our people will continue to be. And the statute says if we get a permit, EPA at that point can decide whether it wishes to veto this project. I don't think it will if we get a permit. Some things are not for sale. Unless we change our attitude towards wilderness, we're going to go down with the other species. We lose wild salmon, we're going to lose ourselves too. It's all there in nature, as far as I'm concerned. We have messed up every other natural run in the world, except this one. And this being the last there is makes me want to pay attention more than I ever have. Every other natural wild run they've gotten rid of. This is the last one, and they're going to pollute it for money. So somebody could make money. That's it. It's not necessary that we get copper and gold out of there. Somebody can make money doing it. So they're going to do it, and they're going to poison those that river. The largest wild salmon run in the world. Last one left.
So in summary, for once, seriously, this one time, can we not be assholes? The U.S. EPA estimates the mine could grow to be nearly as deep as the Grand Canyon, cover an area larger than Manhattan, and fill a major football stadium up to 3,900 times with mine waste. All for nothing. Unnecessary. This proposed low-grade sulfur mine would be located upstream of Bristol Bay's two most productive river streams. So it'll destroy the salmon and probably smell awful, too. It's a double whammy. Can you believe all this stuff? 4,000 football fields. Stadiums, not fields. Stadiums. Full of mining waste. Wow. That's enough shit to fill the Senate. <laughs> the, the location is in a seismically active region where shifting ground could cause massive dam breaching. Wow, that's a great reason to keep this going then. <laughs> Indigenous people and others stand to lose a millennia-old culture... And organic food supply that could last forever if undisturbed. This threatens the $1.8 billion fishing industry. It threatens 14,000 American jobs. It threatens 46% of the world's supply of sockeye sal salmon. Wow. 46% of the world's supply of sockeye salmon. So hopefully this is enough money on the other side of this that Trump's EPA will listen. I'm guessing it's not going to. The bid to save Alaska wild salmon received surprise boost from Trump Jr. The president's eldest son opposes controversial pebble mine at headwaters of Bristol Bay, home of the world's largest wild salmon run. Huh. Uh, I called it, so there's money on the other side of it. So Trump is listening a little. Trump Jr. Alaska Pebble Mine opposed by Trump Jr. Hit with unexpected setback. The federal government announced that a controversial copper and gold mine in Alaska would cause substantial environmental damage, could not receive a permit with its current proposed plan, and ordered the company to offset those impacts in order for the project to move forward. I'm not sure how you can offset <laughs> completely destroying a natural ecosystem, but I guess they're going to try. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers told Pebble Limited Partnership, the company behind the proposed mine, the footprint of the mine's adverse impacts could cover nearly 3,000 acres of wetlands, 132.5 acres of open water, and 130 miles of streams, along with areas affected by other infrastructure. Sh Sean Brown, director of the Alaska Heritage Campaign, says the Army Corps has finally figured out what the rest of us has known for a decade. Pebble CEO Tom Collier dismissed the significance of the letter, telling CNN it was a routine notice that doesn't impede the progress of the project. All of this is an anthill made into a mountain. Elna Hurley, executive director of the United Tribes of Bristol Bay, argued that there's no way for Pebble to fully offset the mine's environmental damage. It is impossible to mitigate the devastation this mine will have on our native cultures, our way of life that has been sustained for thousands of years by the pristine lands and waters of the Bristol Bay watershed. They're making it, they're, this is an anthill made into a mountain. That's what they said about fracking, how dangerous cigarettes were, DAPL, Keystone XL. Do you notice a trend? So save our salmon. 
Hey, everybody, this is the part where I tell you where all our live shows are, but there aren't any. And then this is why I tell you we join our premium program and get extra content, but nobody's got a fucking job. So just enjoy the video.